we were talking recently. There was a guy, I forget how many miles he had flown, but he had oh, that, that so lifetime many. pass. Yeah. yeah. It was, was it, it more than 10 million? I, it I was forget. an insane it amount. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it was it was a dumb amount of miles. But this guy had mm-hmm. bought like a, a, an unlimited lifetime airline pass. I forget the airline. It might have been American. Yeah, I think American was because Mark Cuban got it as well. And yeah. I believe he said. And he spent American. like one hundred and twenty thousand dollars on it or something like that. Mm-hmm. Now, I was talking to uh, our friend Mike, the show killer the yes. other day, and oh. he was talking about um, coming and making a trip in and, you know, nice. saying, saying, hey, and whatever. Uh, just for like a weekend, he goes, oh, I bought this Frontier Pass a year ago, and it's uh, it's almost expired, uh-huh. so I want to yeah. use it. And he's used it a bunch, and that's the first time I'd ever heard about that. But really? then this morning I saw something. Uh, Frontier Airlines Go Wild Fall and Winter Passes are currently on sale for $299. I saw that, mm-hmm. and I thought it was a mistake. No, and it's he was explaining to me the way it works. Uh, they say these um, these fall and winter passes are usually about a thousand bucks, but they're on sale for two ninety nine, uh-huh. and it can be used for travel from September second through February 29th of next year. And uh, you book, you can book an unlimited number of flights on Frontier's domestic and international routes. Wow! And you confirm bookings the day before domestic flights, and then starting ten days before international flights. Hmm. And so you book. And you pay one cent in airfare, plus then taxes, fees, and charges. So it, it works out to be around like with all that kind of stuff. Or if you want like a, an upgraded seat, right, or right. you end up paying for that kind of stuff. Sure. But the, your base fare, uh-huh. and what they're basically doing is taking unsold seats. Sure. And you know, like filling them a, up. Yeah, and it's yeah. Frontier, so you're going to pay for baggage. You're going to pay for an upgraded seat. You're going to pay for things like that. That costs extra. But um, I saw that uh, one person who had this said. You know, once it's the one penny airline fee tax charge, it was about ninety bucks. Okay. To go, That's yeah, and, still okay. damn good. Yeah. Now, uh, there are blackout periods, right? And um, there's another one that is uh, not a fall and winter pass. It's just an annual pass. That one's a little bit more expensive. I don't have the the price on here. I meant to write that down. Okay. But um, you know what, Mike, the show killer, was saying is that yeah, uh, you just have to have a little bit of flexibility. You know, because yeah. You can only book it 24 hours in advance. Right. And so right. if the flight that you want isn't available or you might end up having to take like a connection. But if you're looking to just move around on the cheap and you got some flexibility. That's yeah. the key. Why not? Especially if you're doing ability. like a remote work kind of thing where you yeah, just, yeah. you know, you got your laptop. And if you happen to have to stay another day somewhere. Oh, well. <laughs> you can. Yeah, you, you can do that. <laughs> there is a joke in my household, though, because my brother-in-law has tried to fly Frontier four times because he never... F- flown with them before yeah so he booked a, a flight it got canceled and then so he got credit and then he tried to use it again canceled again oh he waited a couple months and he like rebooked does that reset, canceled again but does that reset the credit because like you get like what yeah. a year oh use. yeah and it then so it, the credit. it finally ran out it did yeah because i it ran out i had yeah. like an issue like that with spirit and it kept resetting that credit yeah, yeah. didn't they change it so it won't expire because what no. if they give you that credit and you're thinking, I don't want to travel this year? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, but he kept the, on trying to use it, so we're like, it's funny. He's never flown on it. For your question, Greg, it's uh-huh. based on the fare that you book. Like, if you don't, if you book a refundable fare, they'll give you your money back. Yeah. Okay. But you're going to pay more up front. And right. Chances mm-hmm. are you probably won't get canceled right. or whatever. But in the case that you do, you could get your money back. But if you're booking like a sale fare or just even like a restricted fare, oh, okay. then they'll give you it in the form of a credit and you'll have 12 months to use gotcha. it. And if you don't use it, you lose it. But what what you should do is kind of what Menace's uh, brother-in-law is uh, is doing. Like if I because I, I had my uh, my mom do this. She had some unused flight credit and then she had to go for that hip surgery. So it was going to be a while oh, yeah. before she traveled. So we just picked like some some date 11 months down the road. You know, that if you know what, if it works out great, if it doesn't, at least it's on the books. And oh, then you get true. all that time and then you could change it again. Oh, that makes sense. And that would then, at least with American Airlines, it resets right. the, that's a good idea. the 12 months. So I might as well book something. Right. Yeah. That yeah. unlimited mile guy was uh, Tom. Yeah. It was United, paid 290 United, grand, yeah. 23 million miles. 200. Damn. Oh, yeah. I was a little off 120 <laughs> grand. Two hundred ninety thousand dollars back in nineteen ninety. He yeah. bought it. Yeah. See, it'd be cool if you're 
retired. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. You know, and exactly. you just want to, you know, go screw off somewhere. And you have and, the money to and, go and screw and off places. Yeah, like whatever. I'm going to go check this out or go see some friends over here. And Right. And the annual Frontier Pass is $2,000. So 2000 for the full year. Yeah. Right. But That's it's unlimited. With, with less restrictions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because it's not just the the fall and winter pass. Wow! Like this one, the one that's three hundred bucks right now, that's only for like I said, September second through February 29th. And you probably can't fly Thanksgiving, right? Or Christmas. And there are blackouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but, if I uh, ever win one, I'm going to give it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. You know, Greg loves to fly. <laughs> big he flyer. wants to fly nonstop. <laughs> yeah. He wants what? to fly 23 million miles. Right. What's your next flight, Greg? I don't have one on the books. <laughs> yeah, Mario keeps trying to get him to take that Italy trip. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, go, dude. Greg is refusing. Oh, my God, it's amazing. <laughs> He's like, I know. Well. I'm like, and didn't he get that for you as a gift? Yes. So you're refusing yeah. his gift? That's not cool. Well, I mean, yeah, he wants, he wants to reschedule it. But now I'm thinking, like, when do we have more time off? Because I don't want to go for one week. Yeah, we'll go over, uh, go like, over like December. December, then. Yeah. December Christmas break. Christmas in Italy. That's yeah. what I suggested, and he said that's the bad time to go to Italy. Oh, oh is that when everything's closed down? No, that's uh, August and then end September 1st. But if uh, December's good, then that would be a good time. Yeah, because I was going to go. There, man, there was an HBO show years mm-hmm. ago, and they were going to send me and a bunch of other, like, you know, radio and yeah. TV people to... Mm-hmm some big rollout event that they were doing for the premiere mm-hmm. and it was going to be in Rome. Okay. Oh my God. It was, that was the so show. Maybe it was, it was for a, Rome. It was for Which the show. Rome. The show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't remember that. Show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, I'm like, uh, all right. At the time I was open to it. Yeah. Now yeah. I wouldn't go. <laughs> but at the time I was open to it cause I was poor and it was the only way I was going to get out of sure, town. Sure. Yeah. And, um, uh, it was supposed to be in August. It was mm. going to be part mm-hmm. of the fall schedule or whatever. Yeah. And so people are like, oh, that's the worst time. Oh. Whenever it was. Yeah, I guess August. it was August. Yeah. That makes sense. It was the worst time because everything, they, I guess the entire country takes vacation or everybody's mm-hmm. wow. Takes off. a month off. Yeah. yeah they, they take a whole month off. Like they're closed. Sounds like, like everything's what I would closed. want yeah. to go. You know? I know, but I mean, yeah, but stuff, nothing would be open. The stuff you, you love wanted, restaurants. Yeah, a lot of restaurants. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not that everything is closed, but like the majority of stuff, it's like, you know, going out on Christmas Day. Yeah. You can find something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something's gonna be open. You can go for Chinese food. Chinese right? <laughs> Go see a movie. Yeah. Yep. That's a you good can analogy. Go to the movies. You know, Menace and I went to Dublin, Ireland twice, and the first mm-hmm. time I went, they sent me on one of these work trips. I think it was for a grand total of two days to go. Yeah. That's what made it suck. Because oh, you're, oh, you're going so yeah. far for such a short so amount of time. Yeah, I remember that trip. <laughs> yeah. for People two taking that, days. and I'm like, no way. Uh, yeah. uh, no, I the think I got so long. I think I got to go. For three, really, and yeah, but we were just hammered the whole time. I almost missed a flight. And, well, yeah, <laughs> I might have Jameson <laughs> mistaken. I think in the time in Ireland might have been one day. Yeah, and then uh, it was just turned right around. The oh, next I would day. totally do that. You know me. Oh, I you love would. It. Yeah, and I did at the time. Yeah, but Greg's got to psych himself up for flights, <laughs> right? Yeah. Nowadays, I wouldn't do that. But at least if you're drunk the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't you uh, get to the airport and you were hammered and they, they, they almost yeah, didn't let, they they almost didn't let you on? And they said, can you drink some coffee? And I said, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. I did. And then I woke up in New York. Yeah. That yeah. rule. Yeah. So <laughs> that's Greg, the best get, flight uh, ever. Just exactly. get annihilated. Yeah. I know. I, I just like, I remember I was at a nightclub. And I opened the door and I was like, oh, it's light outside. I go, this is not good. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at the airport. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, I have a Sunlight. flight to catch. Yeah. Uh-oh. It was not good. But I am, I'm, uh, in September, I am going to go to Italy. Can you imagine the snoring, bit. drunk, passed oh out menace God. on a long flight yeah. like that? And I, I you're sitting know. next to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'd be it'd be like that flight I had next to Red Fu, <laughs> yeah. where yeah. Red Fu was snoring, mouth open, from and LMFAO, death yeah. breath. Yeah, that was at least a short flight. I know it was like an yeah, hour flight. All or something I wanted like that. to do was toss a certs in his mouth. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.